Hello from the Tukas Coffee TV studio in Geneva. We're talking about diplomatic developments in Geneva and the region with Ambassador Dr. Lucius Vasecha. He is president of the Club Diplomatique de Genève. Welcome to the studio. Thank you very much. So we are just in the middle of the iron talks that are happening in Lausanne near Geneva. There's, there has been quite a controversy um, by uh, other countries that are not so happy with the negotiations. Of course, Europe and the United States are driving for these negotiations. From your perspective, would it be a progress if an agreement could be reached? Well, you know, <coughs> Geneva is the center for peacemaking. So whatever we can do here in Geneva to improve the situation in a bilateral and plurilateral relationship, which is not at its best, I think that's positive. We have to move forward being aware that many problems have to be solved until we come to a real normalization of the relationship between, uh, let us say, the Western countries yeah. and Iran. So just taking Iran as an example, these negotiations that are happening right now, why is it happening in Geneva? You know, for decades, uh, <coughs> partners have started to appreciate the fact that you are not only in buildings, but you have a wonderful surrounding here in Geneva, which is important to create certain atmospherics in a negotiation. And <coughs> it's a very small town. I would say the smallest town of the big towns in the world. And everything is easy. Uh, no major security problems, no infrastructure problems and good facilitas facilitations for all delegations to be welcomed. Mm -hmm. However, there is a movement of international organizations out because sometimes it's cost factors, uh, sometimes maybe other reasons. Uh, do you think that this uh, development can be stopped? You know, <coughs> what is moving out of Geneva is basically um, technical stuff because of the price. But the knowledge in the 37 international organizations here and the possibilities for cooperation among these organizations is so high that I believe in the future of the Geneva international dimension, especially as more and more international organizations will have to cooperate in order to save money. And it's interesting to note that all those international organizations that are not present in Geneva, after a very short time, open liaison offices here in Geneva because the substance is here. Mm -hmm. We are just at the end of the Human Rights Council that also happened uh, in March uh, this year. So here's a picture. There, uh, NGOs have actually complained that they uh, that Geneva is too expensive and they do not have enough uh, possibilities to participate. Do you think that uh, this is uh, um, a concern that has to be taken seriously? Well, I think the authorities in Switzerland and Geneva are taking this very seriously and try to facilitate their work whenever they can. So as an outlook for the International Geneva and maybe also future uh, diplomatic events, uh, what's on the list for 2015? Well, this year <coughs> there are two major issues where Geneva is participating. You know that um, the Millennium <coughs> The program of the UN to fight against poverty has to be renewed and these talks take place also in Geneva. And finally, <coughs> there is the uh, climate change efforts which will merge into a ministerial conference in Paris by the end of the year where a lot of activities are done here, especially by 
the International Organization on uh, Metrology. Dr. Lucius Vazesha, thank you very much for being here today. You're welcome. And thanks for watching. Do make sure to keep clicking back on the Dukas Copy TV website for latest updates and exclusive interviews. Have a great day and see you next time. Thank <laughs> you.